Hello, my name is Matthew. Today we're going to cover a bit of mathematical statistics. We're going to look at bivariate normal distributions. Alright, so things that you should already know. Uh, you should know what a random variable is. You should at least have seen a normal distribution and know somewhat what that is. And you should understand what correlation coefficients are. Alright, so we're going to quickly review all of those things, so if you're a little bit hazy, it should jog your memory. Uh, we're also going to cover what bivariate random variables are, what bivariate normal random variables are, and then we're going to do a short proof just to give you a taste of uh, things that you can think about. Alright, so a random variable is a variable which can take values from a specified set with associated probabilities of achieving specific values in the discrete case or with probabilities of achieving values in certain ranges in the continuous case. As an example, uh, you can think of uh, flipping a coin and assigning to a random variable, either a 0 if you get a heads, or a 1 if you get a tails. Uh, the reason this is a random variable is because you have no way of knowing what the outcome of the flipped coin will be. It's uh, constrained to be either 0 or 1, so it's a discrete random variable. And the associated probabilities for each of the outcomes, in this case, is 1 half. If your coin was unfair, you could have different probabilities for your 0 and your 1 outcomes. You could have, for example, 3 quarters of the time the coin will land on heads, and 1 quarter of the time it will land on tails. Alright, so a normal distribution, also called a bell curve, is a continuous probability distribution, and it has this functional form here. Now, mu, this uh, curly u, is the mean, and sigma, this uh, little o with a tail on it, is the square root of the variance, uh, or the standard deviation. So what is a correlation coefficient? Uh, a correlation coefficient is a measure of how dependent two random variables are on each other. So when one changes, how the other changes in response. Correlation coefficients take values between minus 1 and plus 1, with plus 1 signifying perfect correlation and minus 1 perfect anti-correlation. They can of course take any values in between, and when two random variables are independent, the correlation coefficient is 0. Uh, it's worth noting that just because the correlation coefficient is found to be zero does not mean that two random variables are independent, but if they're independent, then the correlation coefficient is definitely zero. All right, what is a bivariate random variable? A bivariate random variable is a pair of random variables, x and y, with a joint density function f of x, y. For example, if z equals x, y is a continuous bivariate random variable with a joint probability density function, then you can find the probability of x and y being within a certain region, for example, x between a and b and y between c and d, just by doing the uh, integral of the probability density function over the region. Of course, just with like with uh, one-dimensional random variables, you can have more complicated bounds than this. This is just an example. Okay, what is a bivariate normal random variable? Well, first of all, it is a bivariate random variable, meaning that you have two variables. So, if uh, z is a bivariate normal random variable, then it means that every linear combination of x plus y is normally distributed. So that's what this says here. For all a and b in the real numbers, 
ax plus by is normally distributed. Now, this is equivalent to saying that if z equal xy is a bivariate normal random variable, then z has the joint probability distribution given by this gigantic function down here. Now, these things are equivalent, meaning you can go from this giant function back to this statement here, or you can start with this statement here and show that this is true. Here, mu x is the mean of x, mu y is the mean of the random variable y, sigma x and sigma y are respectively the standard deviations of x and y, and rho xy is the correlation coefficient between x and y. Now you can simplify this quite a lot if you consider x and y independent, because if x and y are independent then the correlation coefficient is zero, so you'll have one minus zero here square rooted, we're just going to have 1. Same with up here. And here you'll have row 0, so this entire term cancels out. And that'll leave you with this right here, which you might recognize as just the product of two, ran two normal random variables, x and y. All right. Now for a question. Suppose that x and y are normal random variables and that x and y are independent. Let m equal x plus y and n equal x minus y. Show that mn, the bivariate random variable, is a bivariate normal random variable. Okay, maybe pause the video here and give it a try yourself, see how well you do and then we'll go on to the proof on the next slide. Alright, so first you have to know that uh, uh, mn is a bivariate normal random variable exactly when am plus bn is normally distributed for all a, b, and r. We covered that a few slides back. So to show that am plus bn is normally distributed, we consider am plus bn. We plug in the values for m, which was x plus y, and the value for n, which was x minus y. And just doing a little bit of rearranging, we get a plus b times x and a minus b times y. Now this is a linear combination of two independent normal random variables, and any such combination is itself a normally distributed random variable. So we've shown that am plus bn is normally distributed for all a, b in the real numbers. So mn is a bivariate normal random variable. All right, I hope you found this useful. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.